press purpose forms they like and then they zap it and they fall onto the stage and they get like, in, like enticed into my dress <laughs> and live in my dress and I've only got one of these and they've so many of these dresses and all my sweat plus all the bugs and the dying <laughs> so much of your bugs and so much I know I look like this but that's what I mean I've got the knock and this in my life that's what I'm telling you <laughs> so early on when I was doing my little walk I spotted like a not a tower of there they are over there a tower of hello up there in the building outside Theatres and they too got the torches out on their phones. Hint, hint, get the torches out on the phones. <laughs> and I just did an arena tour and it looked amazing there. Then I did Glastonbury and Eva when they beat the festival for three days. They gave me their battery life. And then we started a couple of weeks ago here in Australia. And like I mentioned to you earlier, we opened in Perth. And I just, like I do at every show, I was like, let me get your torches out, please. And then they lit it up and it looked like this. And you can see how amazing it looks. It looks really incredible. Um, this is a song that I love very much. It's not my song. It's a cover of my first album. And every time I sing it, I feel something new about it. Every time I discover something new, or I hear something new, you know, and that's one of the main reasons I love music so much. It's because of you, you kind of appropriate it for how you're feeling that day. Um, I can't say it's groundbreaking how I feel today. I feel all right. I don't feel devastated or it's more like something that overwhelmed my things. So I can't say I'm going to sing it from a devastated place. But, um, it's your wedding song. There you go. Here you go then. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> 